You've heard that using social media can help you get sales on Etsy, but it is hard and I totally understand. It's hard to do well on social media. You've got to have interesting posts. And today I wanted to give you a little tutorial on how to make a really cute, fun social media video without having to use any video. So what we're going to do, go to my Canva dashboard. I'm using my paid for subscription here, but a lot of things you can do um, on, on the free account. You can get tons done there. I'm also a Canva Asador, so I get to hear cool new things about Canva, but I wanted to share this with you. So we want some kind of social media thing. So I'm going to pick mobile video just now. Hopefully this is fun and helpful. I love it. So what you want to do is search for a design. We're going to make a sort of moving carousel by editing a design that's already there. So on the top left, you can search for de designs. You can see this is the template that I've already used, but you can search for it. If you search yellow, orange gradient, retro, new product, fashion, Instagram, whoa, whoa, keyword stuffing, but whoever created this, it's, it's a fun thing. So that'll come out. This is the little template that you're looking for. So I'm just going to click on it and you get different pages. I'm just going for the first one. You can actually change the, the colors and everything from here in a simple thing, but I'm wanting to, to do it a little different. So what we're going to do we're going to make a little carousel for your items just by editing this. So all I've done is I've got one page here with everything on it. The first thing I want to do, I don't like that orange gradient. So you can put any kind of background on it. All I'm going to do is click the background color here. Once I'm clicked on that orange and I can choose, you can choose from colors in the pictures, um, default colors or little gradients. Let's purple and pink. Let's go with that. Why not? You can, <laughs> you can spend ages adapting these things. Now, what I'm going to want to do is obviously because I want to drop in my pictures, you can change any of this. You can click and drag them around. It's dead simple, but I want my pictures in here. So I'm going to right click on this detach image and I'm going to do it for all of these. Now there may be quicker ways to do, there are quicker ways to do all the things that I'm doing, but this is, I'm just hitting delete now. This is just a quick and fun way to do it. Now, the next thing I want to do, I want to feature the thing in the center a little bit more. So I've clicked on it, clicked on one of the corners and I'm just clicking and dragging. And then the good thing on Canva, it tells you when you've centraled centraled something with these little lines. So that looks central. Um, I'm going to remove that. I have an idea for what I think I want, but we'll, we'll get into it in a minute. Okay. So do I want that a bit bigger? It could, it could go a little bigger. So we'll just click and drag that until it's roughly in the center. Um, I kind of like those where they are. So let's just leave them where they are. And what I want this one to be is sticking out in the front. So let's do that. You click on position, click to front and that little guy's in the front. That is cool. And then you can type anything you want in here. Now I make needle felted sculptures. So let's of people's pets. So let's just, let's just say your pets. You can say anything you want. I'm just being cheesy. And then put my shop name. Now that's too big. I could change the size of that or just click and drag it. And again, I can center it, click and drag, make sure they're all, that looks okay. <laughs> you can change anything any way you want. Okay. So I've got this sort of basic thing, spend more time, edit it as much as you want. You can change whatever font you're using. Oh, lucky bones. That sounds good for now look at me just messing around with things. That sounds good for a pet thing. So there we go. Lucky bones. <laughs> right. And the next thing I want to do is to put some pictures in because this little landscape thing is just saying this is a placeholder where you can drop your pictures in. 
So to get pictures, you can either just click and drag them in or you want to hit uploads, upload files under images. I've already just uploaded these because they come off of my other computer. So I'm going to pick which ones. Let's start with this wee guy. So you just click and drag him in and this guy onto the side one there. There we go. This guy onto the side. Which one? Let's do this one. So these have all come from customer photos. So I could say, you know, glowing reviews and each featured one you could put the review on. It'd be a fun way to feature that. But anyway, I'm just doing something a little simple just now. So make sure you've got it set out how you like it. This is all right, I think. And all I'm going to do, duplicate page duplicate page. I want it to have the kind of feel of a little carousel where everything, why, there we go, it's still there, where things move around in a little circle. So you can do more than three if you want, but I'm just doing three. So all I'm going to do is for this one, I'm going to detach all these again, detach image. So it's just right click, detaching image, right click, detach image. And then what I'm going to want to do is come back to here and say, so I want the Samoid to move to the right and I want the paperclip in the middle. So paperclip, well, can you just, can we drop, well, dropped you in, dropping you in already, hopefully. Nope, it's not wanting to, but anyway, I said, oh, it is idiot, Pam. All right, so I want the Samoid, pick up the thing I want. <laughs> Samoid to the right. Is that him dropped? So you dropped? No. Why is it when you're trying to do stuff that it's just there? That's that one in there. Will you... there we go? And it's dropped in there. Okay. So hopefully that's gone. Yep. Samoids moved to the right. This little guy's gone to here, and the paper clip's gone to the middle. Right, so again, we're going to detach, detach, and detach. So who do we want in the middle now? We want the little baby puppies in the middle, this one, <laughs> typically the one that's right on the front. Don't know if it's done it. Where's the paper clip going? Paper clip's going to the right. You're the paper clip. Pick it up. Drop the paper clip on the right. You've just got to wiggle it a bit until it decides. There we go. You can sort of see it's dropped into its place. Um, you, I said, there we go. And you, so I'm just clicking and dragging until I see this picture has dropped into the frame. So if we've gone around the right way, yep. Hopefully this will make sense in a moment. So all we're going to do next now, I could change the text on each of these as well. Each individual thing. Um, felted. I, I look, <laughs> I'm not very good at marketing myself either. So and we've got this and if we wanted this would play it's got some animations for coming in and it already ah, it's already got the thing i want there I'll sh <laughs> so i was going to show you how it looks without it but it's already got it but i'll just show you let's can i just remove these let's remove these first so you can see if it doesn't do this right so how it looks without transitions between so the way of the videos work is you create pages for each video for you create pages for the video and it plays one page after the other and you can do transitions between the videos. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. So let's let's have a look. If I don't have these transitions on between the pages, it just opens up with all the individual animations that have already been put in for like that text comes in in a block, you know, everything comes in in different ways. But what I really like is the transitions between pages. So if I hover in the gap here and then it goes add transition. So if you click on that, it will show you all the type of transitions. So it can do just a simple dissolve. You can each page can slide circle wipes, color wipes. Some of these are a bit dated. Some of these are really cool. 
the one that I'm one is this called match and move because that's sort of taking the one page and the second page and going let's that dog started there and it moves to there so let's do a transition of that um so hopefully you can see it makes it look like they're going around in a bit of a carousel and you can apply between all pages or you could do it individually you could do a different transition between each page but i like this match and move because you see how it makes it look like they're sort of going around so then you just if i look and play then what can happen it looks like the pictures go around in a circle you can remove the animations from any of the words and do the kind of same thing but i quite like how that's gone but you could change any of the animations as well so this effect you just click on that and this is a block which means it comes out in a block as it says just look at the text you can burst it out merge cute a typewriter just pick a thing but the block's kind of cool catches your eye and that's it you've just got a cute little thing now it was a little slow for me this is going to be 14 seconds but what you can do again if i click on this let's say i just want two seconds between each thing it might be too fast let's see not 27 seconds but two seconds and then you can apply that to all the pages or you could make your last page last a little longer if you've got something you want to say there but let's see what two seconds so that feels a nicer speed so you can change change your speed across everything too and then all you've got to do is hit share download save as a video save all three pages which means you get it as it combines it into one video hit download and that's your funky little thing um and without having to explain it out loud it does not take very long to create at all um but i think it's just a nice simple video you could use this even for your listing your listings on Etsy, a fun little carousel that'll catch people's eye. So you can make videos without making videos. Um, yeah, let me know what you're going to put in your videos. Um, yeah, so that that like took 10 minutes with me explaining. You can do this and then drop in any pictures you want. I will have shortcuts for how to deal with these things um, easier, how to sort of automate it. Um, but that was just a quick way to do it. Um, and if you want a free trial of Canva to have a go at doing the, some of these things, you can get a free trial, but also you can get a free upgrade for a month from my link down below, um, my affiliate link. So let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.